guys, I am here for a quick video to walk you through one of the planners that I, I don't know if I've ever like shown it all in its entirety, but it is one of my more functional planners. Um, so if you haven't watched my videos before, I have an Erin Condren horizontal planner for my everyday. Right now I use an Erin Condren hourly for work, although that is changing next year. And then I use a personal planner for rewinder memory keeping. It's like my scrapbook planner. Uh, so that's a lot of planners, um, but this is a planner that's for a specific occasion. I am moving December 1st, which is less than a month away, and I'm freaking out about it. I get a lot of anxiety from things like that, especially moving. Moving is just such a large thing, and it's freaking me out because I don't feel like I have enough time to prepare for it because I work so much. So I put together this planner to just help calm me. It basically helps me keep track of everything, you know, confirmation numbers for all kinds of stuff, and it keeps me on track while also basically calming me down. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I organize this moving planner and why I did certain things, and uh, I hope it helps someone. Before I jump into this video, I am grabbing some sticky notes, and I'm gonna go through this real quickly. Uh, there is some, like, and stuff in there that I can't show you guys um, and it's because it has like confirmation numbers and like account passwords and stuff like that for various things so I'm gonna go cover this up and I will be right back okay so I am all done with that and I'm gonna open it up so uh, I don't have anything like put along here I have always meant to like get some cute stuff but I never found anything that I really liked and I think it has something to do with the fact that I hate like this planner so um, it just doesn't close right every time and it's just this is from Michaels and I get that their planners are cheap but I just expected them to be better I really don't like this one and honestly if I keep were to be using this for something long term I would get a nicer one so uh, within this there are three tabs and three sections. I made all the inserts for this. I just bought some like heavy paper from Staples and like designed it myself. So the first tab is all of my savings trackers. Let me show you what a blank one of these looks like. It's very, very simple. And it's all the different things I need to save up to, uh, I save up for uh, to get ready. So the first is moving costs. So I have my first month's rent, um, my first month's bills. This one's an estimate. A moving truck, which I don't think I'll need because I think I'm going to be able to borrow a huge trailer from someone. This one is one of my deposits for bills. I not only have saved up all the money for it, I have paid it already. I do currently have these two amounts saved up, if you will, like enough to pay for them. But I wasn't sure if I needed deposits on other things first. So these are my moving costs. Next we have my house cost, which is the house I currently live in. I just wanted to make sure I had enough saved up for like the max amount for my first month's bills. And then I am hiring a company to deep clean everything in my house once I move out. So once I like get rid of this house, I have nothing holding me to it. I don't like I just I just really want to like sever my ties with it. My next one is apartment wants. I haven't started this one really, but it's uh, things I want new for my apartment. Uh, it's gonna take a while for me to get these things, so I'm just gonna be slow about it, but I thought it'd be nice to start with this. It's also one of the things that made me feel like I might want to keep this planner as like a budgeting or a savings planner for the future. So now I have back here some blank ones of these if I ever need more. I actually only have one blank one, so I might need to make more. So the next section is uh, all of my utilities. Um, so the first ones are my house utilities. It's basically what I need to do to cancel them. They're all pretty simple. Most of them have like online forms I fill out. Um, so those were easier than I thought. And then the second one is a utilities for my apartment. One of these is my um, electric and one of these is my gas. I have these all covered up because I have these all ready to go. And these have confirmation numbers and my account numbers and passwords and things like that. Here we have the two other uh, utility utilities that I need to take care of. One is my internet. I haven't decided which internet provider to go with because they're both kind of crappy. And then the second one is I need to go get rental insurance. I keep meaning to. Um, I was gonna go with the place I get car insurance from to bundle it, but the bundling isn't like that much worth it And I need to get new car insurance because I've got some pretty expensive one now So that is it for that. Um, I'll need to work on that soon So that is all my utilities 
The last section is my packing slash purging plan. So I have one of these for each um, uh, each room in my new ha uh, apartment. And I'm basically, I don't know exactly the plan for this, but I do want to be able to mark, you know, how many boxes I have for each of these rooms and maybe do a little bit of what the, the contents of them are, the big things. The biggest thing I've worked on is uh, for my apartment, you know, saying what I already have. Um, and that'll help me build a, uh, like a needs list. And then the last thing I have is my purge and pack, my actual one. So I have these uh, blank, this is the last style I have of these. It's just a page with um, a little design at the top and lined paper. So I've mostly done them with my room. It's just my plan for purging things and uh, packing them. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I think it's, it's really comforting I'd rather be able to check off one individual thing I did than check off a room because it's more satisfying that way. And it also helps me to lay out everything I need to do. So I am about done with my room and then I will move, uh, in, like that's purging it and packing it up and that's where I have most of my stuff. So then I'll go to a new room and sit down and look around and be like, all right, let me make the list of what I need to do. And it helps me tackle a huge project just in an easier way. So that is everything in this moving planner. It's not a lot, um, but it's enough to make me feel calm. Just my savings tracker, my you think keeping up with utilities, and then uh, keeping up with packing slash purging all my stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you got any kind of a lesson from this or it helped anyone who's looking to move and wants to learn how I do it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I have the power to make as many inserts and stickers as I need to to make this functional, so I would appreciate any feedback. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.